I'd like to call up Mr. Neil Patterson of the Alliance of Hindu Mandars and Vedic Leaders in America, uh, a Maharishi University initiative. Um, Mr. Patterson is the Secretary General of the Supporting Groups of Vedic Pundits to Create World Peace Through Vedic Performances of Yoga and Yajna. He received an undergraduate and graduate degrees in the science of creative intelligence from Maharishi European Research Universities in Switzerland, as well as a doctoral degree in Vedic science from the Maharishi Vedic University in the Netherlands. He's going to be speaking about the Global Peace Initiative. Good evening and namaste. And thank you, Samirji, and thank you to the Hindu Mandir executives for inviting us to your annual conference. This evening, we are pleased to present to you an initiative to create lasting world peace through the Vedic tradition. The world is fortunate that the Ved and Vedic literature contain all knowledge and practical procedures to maintain peace and harmony in society. And you should all be very proud that you represent the only tradition on earth so rich in knowledge and so powerful that with the proper application of this knowledge, we can reverse negative trends in society and create lasting peace and prosperity for all. In this scientific age, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, are you changing the slides? Yes. Next slide, please. Maharshi Mahesh Yogi's contribution was to distill the vast body of Vedic knowledge into essential practices and revive these specific practices prescribed in the Vedas for creating peace in society. He systematically applied these procedures on a societal level and had their effects validated by scientific research. Through the application of these technologies, it is now possible to transform the life of whole nations and the world at once. World peace is possible to achieve today through daily performance of yoga and yajna by large groups of specially trained Vedic pundits. You all know that yoga means union of individual consciousness with universal consciousness, paramatma. Maharshi's unique training of pundits includes the development of their consciousness through the daily practice of advanced meditation techniques. Transcendental Meditation, and its advanced program revived by Maharshi from the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. These techniques establish the awareness of the pundit in the transcendental field of Paramatma, the universal self, where the Ved and Devatas are eternally lively. In so doing, when the pundit performs the Yajna or Graha Shanti for world peace from this level, it is most powerful and effective and spreads throughout society. Scientific research has shown that these practices create the state of yoga, unified consciousness in the pundit, as measured by coherence in brain functioning through EEG. Patanjali's Yoga Sutras state, Tat Sanidao Vairatyagaha, which translates, in the vicinity of yoga, hostile tendencies are eliminated. Modern science has now verified this peace-creating effect of these yogic techniques. To date, 50 demonstration projects and 23 published studies have demonstrated when these advanced meditation techniques are practiced daily by large groups in one place, negative and violent trends in society are automatically reduced. And this has been measured by significant drops in crime rates, accident rates, hospital admissions, acts of terrorism, and even large-scale conflicts and war. This research also shows increases in positive social, political, and economic trends. For example, in the summer of 1993, a demonstration project with 3,000 advanced meditators in Washington, D.C., whom we see pictured here in front of the White House, reduced violent crime unexpectedly by 23% during the weeks of the project. This study was published in the Journal of Social Indicators. Another experimental test of this approach to reduce conflict was conducted during the peak of the Lebanon War in 1983. A day-by-day -day study of the two-month assembly nearby on the border of Israel showed that when the number of participants was high, war deaths in Lebanon decreased by 71%, war injuries fell by 68%, 
conflict dropped by 48%, and cooperation between antagonists increased by 66%. This study was published in the prestigious Journal of Conflict Resolution. Another study has shown the influence on terrorism. Three large peace-creating assemblies were studied retrospectively through an analysis of data provided by the RAND Corporation. This data revealed a 72% reduction in worldwide terrorism during the three assemblies taken together. The research all indicates that what is required to produce this effect globally is the square root of 1% of a population practicing these Vedic techniques in one place together on a daily basis. Currently, the world's population of 7 billion requires a group of approximately 9,000. From 1987 to 1990, Maharshi trained and assembled 7,000 Vedic pundits near New Delhi. At that time, this was the square root of 1% of the world population. During this period, the world witnessed one of the most dramatic transformations in history that no one thought we would see in our lifetime. And this head headline in the LA Times was just one of hundreds recording that peace was breaking out all over the world. We saw the end of the Cold War, the fall of the Berlin Wall, cessation of conflicts worldwide, the end of apartheid, and freedom for tens of millions of people. Unfortunately, we were unable to continue to maintain this group of Vedic pundits due to lack of funding. But if we can maintain such a group again, we can expect similar effects in the world. To maintain 9,000 specially trained Vedic pundits at all times requires a continual program of training pundits. Maharshi established a network of schools throughout India called Maharshi Ved Vigyan Vishwavidya Pits. These include Gurujis in hundreds of villages for training young pundits aged 10 to 15, 24 residential centers for older pundits aged 15 to 21, and to date more than 50,000 pundits have taken the training. In addition, Maharshi Mahesh Yogi Vedic Vishwavidyalaya was established by the legislature of Madhya Pradesh in 1996, and all pundits are enrolled in this institution and gain undergraduate and graduate degrees. In 2000, Maharshi began a construction of a campus. Next slide. We see in this photo at the Brahmastan of India, geographical center of India in Madhya Pradesh, to permanently house 9,000 Vedic pundits. To date, accommodations for 2,200 is complete, and accommodations for an additional 6,800 it is in various stages of completion. Currently, 1,500 pundits are being funded. That's all the funding we have at the moment at the campus, and 3,400 in residential schools. Our goal is to permanently finance 9,000 at this campus and have over 30,000 in training at all times throughout India.